My wife has some common statements she makes about this time every year. Like, my jeans always seem to shrink in the winter, or chocolate makes my clothes shrink. And she reasons that if heat makes things expand, I don't have a weight problem, I'm just hot. You notice that I say that these are statements and not excuses. I know what's good for me. It's called by a number of different names like winter weight gain, holiday spread, or winter padding. Many people just expect it, but I want to tell you that you can outsmart the season. So what's behind the seasonal corpulence? Well, one thing is that the winter, we usually spend more time on the sofa watching TV than we do at the park or at the beach. With a change in schedule and activities comes less motivation to exercise and a tendency to just kind of let it slide. Some people are also victims of the dreaded seasonal affective disorder, which may trigger a craving for carbohydrates that can amount to as much as 800 additional calories a day. Cold weather drives us indoors where metabolism slows and dressing in more layers actually hides those extra pounds. Though winter weight gain may have its roots in biology, it's actually fueled by mood. In the winter months, we tend to eat more out of boredom and mild depression than we do from actual hunger. It's a sad reality that holiday foods are calorie intense because they're fried, fat, processed, sugary, and add to the curse, they're everywhere. I find it encouraging to know that cutting back on just 100 calories a day amounts to a weight loss of approximately 10 pounds in a year. In winter, levels of melatonin increase in our system, making us more drowsy, and can increase our appetite, making us prone to emotional eating. With less exposure to sunlight, we have lower levels of vitamin D, which reduces the body's ability to break down fat. So what's the solution to this weighty problem? Is it inescapable? And what can we do about it? The key is to stay active, eat quality, not quantity, and elevate your mood by getting some sunlight. It's a fact that maintaining the ideal weight is much, much easier than having to get it back. It's a principle of physics that coasting requires less effort and energy than accelerating. So don't allow yourself to slip too far. Now let me share with you a few non-scientific suggestions that have worked for others. Eat before you're really starving, which keeps you from craving, gorging, and binging. Drink a glass of water before and after each alcoholic beverage. This dilutes the calories and helps you consume less. And if you need some extra Christmas holiday motivation to not fall off the wagon, put on your swimsuit each week and stand in front of a full-length mirror. This may sound painful, but it's so revealing. Schedule, accept no excuses, and commit to daily exercise. The harsh reality is that the bigger the snack means the bigger the slacks. Emmy award-winning stand-up comedian and food expert Jeanette Barber has said, when I buy cookies, I eat just four and then throw the rest away. But first I spray them with Raid so that I won't dig them out of the garbage later. But be careful though, because the Raid really doesn't taste that bad. Now go out and enjoy your winter holidays.